Hi, everybody. Things have been going pretty smoothly here lately. Depositing this node here actually went really smoothly. But it looks a little cramped in here, doesn't it? I think I need to redesign the building around it. In fact, I may split this up into multiple buildings. I really don't want to pick this node up and move it. It would absolutely do damage to it, and since I've managed to get it here without damaging it, I don't want to mess with that. So I'm thinking of building maybe a roundish or octagonal building around here. With a higher roof, probably something arched. And I think I want to dig this dirt away around here to make room for more construction. And maybe some more farms. Although I suspect that it's time to turn off this tree farm again. I think 44,000 oak wood is probably enough to last me for a while. Okay, I think I'm getting more of an idea of what I want the front door to look like, or the front wall, or... Why are there zombie pigmen in my mini-map? Because there are zombie pigmen in our <clears throat> generator room. <clears throat> Little ones. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> no biggie. I was just surprised to see red on our radar since we happen to live in a mushroom biome. Anyway, I am thinking about making this the front. Probably will need to move this. I wonder if I could make the top of this building wide enough for this to sit on top of. I think it's time to start tearing up the roof and see what happens. Yeah, I think that's the general shape of the roof that I want. Although I'm going to need to make it a little bit higher. So that this looks cool from inside. And it looks like it's time to move the tree farm. We can just do without the tree farm for a while. I've got 40,000 oak saved up in the system. Okay, so I've decided how I'm going to raise the roof in here. And... Actually, I'm not raising the ceiling below, but I am raising the roof, partly for aesthetic reasons, and partly to make room for the candles. I'm leaving an empty channel here for the ME system. We'll have an Essentia provider going underneath here, and the channel's going all the way through to preserve symmetry. And that should keep our infusions reasonably stable. But we'll be adding some more crystals later. 
Crystal clusters, that is. Just to be safe. And as you can see, I have many more pedestals than we used to have. I believe it's 28. 20, yeah, 28 pedestals. So we can do much larger infusions. And I have gone with my usual preference of keeping them about floor level. Because that way when things pop off in the middle of an infusion, it's easier to find them and put them back. Which is going to be pretty important in your bigger, more dangerous infusions. And I'm sure Tim has a few planned. So I've got the first quarter of the building done and the rest of it kind of torn up. But anyway, I think I like what I've got going on with the outside here. Some of it does look a little monotonous, especially right around here. Oops. I wonder if I could stick some other block in there that I like better. Like maybe some engraved symbols and or possibly some glowing symbols. I don't know if it does different random symbols or what, but I'm going to find out. Well, it does look like it does do different symbols if you put them down flat, but when you put them in carpenter blocks, it always comes out to the same symbol. Still better than it all being the same, I suppose. It does kind of break things up nicely. So we'll just have to pretend that this is our favorite letter. Okay, so I've done a bit of work on it. I have to say I think I have got the outside of this looking pretty good. This looks a little more techno than I would like. I'll like it to look a bit more mystical, actually. But still, I think I like the way that's come out on the outside. I put in black elevators. And I have a place for these crystals to go. So that should bring us a little more stability. So yeah, this should be good for the infusions. And now for the inside. I think what I want to do is lower the floor so we have more room for this starburst effect to Stand there and look cool. Which means these things are going to have to move. Which means we'll be rerouting some wires as well. 
There's not much I could do about that except to do it. And if I lower everything three meters, then that should have the flat floor starting right around here. And all that will be three meters lower, and there should be plenty of room for these machines to be set up at the bottom of this hill. And a small staircase coming down into the area. Yeah. I think I like it. I'll like it less when I'm actually doing it, but I'll like it more when it's done. Okay, I think I like what I've got going on here. The inside's looking a lot better. Got enough room where you can really appreciate the, the effect around the pure node. This will need to move. And this, this could look better. But it doesn't. And I'm really not sure what to do about that. Except cover up some of the ugly bits. It's still accessible, but the whole thing is now kind of an ugly bit. But I was about to say that you can access the crafting terminal, but you really can't. I had it working a second ago, and I'm starting to think that it really just does not like microblocks, at least not these uh, thomic energistics parts. We should still be able to microblock around the cables just fine. Yeah, that works just fine now. And I think it leaves this a little more visible anyway. I may make some steps going up here, though. But I do think I like the way this looks better anyway. It was just kind of unwieldy and lopsided before. So I'm still not overjoyed with it, but I think I'm okay with it. And we've got the carpenter's wedges making things look pretty nice over here. 
and keeping it where you can get it to the alchemical furnace to throw stuff in. And that's all hooked up to the ME system. I've got an elevator right here going up to the infusion altar, which is also equipped with an Essentia terminal and a crafting terminal. Well, the Essentia terminal is just there so you can check and make sure that you have enough Essentia for whatever you're doing with the altar here. Just saves you from having to step down here and do this. So that's not too bad. I think I want to put some covers on this cable to make it look more like a pillar. And then there's these walls down here. I probably will do the same as this wall up here. And I'll need to make some more arcane stone anyway to finish that ceiling. In which I have all these candles. Which should keep our transfusions reasonably safe. Our infusions. Rather. Okay, I think I'm pretty pleased with the way this is coming out. I've decided to put this one more relay out just to make sure that I'm getting enough V into this thing. Focal manipulator over here for upgrading my wand foci. Over here we don't need Centa V, but it's a good place to do our alchemy so yeah I like the way this came out oh one other thing I wanted to adjust those banners a little. And according to the Thaumonomicon, all I have to do is splash it with a little bit of this and a little bit of that and that is perfect so we can do all these things in greater safety and comfort and in style would like to know why that's not working. But I guess I can live like that. Then there's this place. I've got this half a room that's just half a room. This I can pick up and move all I want. But I'd rather not move any of these nodes if I can help it. Or 
Actually, I think I may have discovered another way to uh, cure no damage anyway. So yeah, I could move all this about with impunity once I figure out just how I want to do it. Something a little bit different than this, of course. But not necessarily too different. Or maybe very nearly the same. It certainly bears thinking about. So, there's our energized node room. Be sure to tune in next time to see what I do next. Till then, have a nice day.